Hannah, welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here. Today I'm gonna show you how to make the most delicious and healthier butternut squash pasta. I feel like this time of year, it's very indulgent. You bake a lot, all the meals are kind of comforting and they're not necessarily the most healthier. So in my opinion, it's really important to keep a balance. So we are going to be making a somewhat vegan and why I say somewhat vegan butternut squash pasta, it's because you can totally make this completely vegan, but I am adding uh, cheese to it as you're going to see in the ingredients where you can obviously omit that and just make it completely vegan if that's your style or if you don't want to consume any kind of dairy. Let me show you the ingredients that we're going to need so we can get started. You're going to need of course a butternut squash. This one's about three pounds but anything about two and a half pounds or three pounds um, it's pretty much good enough. You're going to need vegetable broth or stock. You can also use chicken, which I've used before and it comes out delicious. You're going to need some salt, pepper, extra virgin olive oil, shallots, sage, coconut cream. Make sure you use canned coconut cream. This is going to act as heavy cream and it's going to give us the most beautiful sauce ever. And of course, optional, I'm using Romano cheese and what's left of my Parmigiano Reggiano. You're going to, of course, need some pasta. I'm using some linguine here. Now that I've shown you the ingredients, the next thing I'm going to do is chop my butternut squash in big pieces. They don't have to be small at all. I'm going to show you exactly what size after I'm done. And you want to chop your shallots. And at this point, you do want to get a pot, fill it with water, put tons of salt, and bring it to a boil. Okay, the first thing I wanna do is cook my butternut squash. I'm going to be cooking it on medium, medium high. And to my pan here, I'm adding about two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Here I have my butternut squash, and you want them about this size. To the pot, I'm adding the sage, just like that, and the shallots. Just gonna give that a quick stir. And now I'm adding butternut squash right in there. I'm gonna let it cook like this for about one or two minutes, and then we're going to add the vegetable broth. But first, I do wanna season it very lightly with some salt and a little bit of pepper. Beautiful. Now, I'm adding the vegetable stock. As you can see, it's not a lot of liquid whatsoever, but you just want this to cook and butternut squash cooks very, very quickly. So this is going to be more than enough liquid. Now I'm going to put on the lid and just let it cook. Okay, as you can see, my butternut squash cooked completely. Now with my hand blender, I'm gonna go ahead and blend this until it is nice and smooth. If you feel that it needs a little more water, go ahead and add a little more. Okay, this, look, this looks exactly how I want it. As you can see, it's nice and smooth. I did add about a quarter cup of the water my pasta is cooking in, just because it makes it a little more blendable. You can also do this with a blender, of course. Look how creamy smooth this is. Oh my God, I'm telling you, this comes out absolutely delicious. Now I'm gonna add my coconut cream, mix it around. I'm adding my romano cheese. You can do either or, you don't have to use them both, but trust me when I tell you, it adds just the most incredible flavor. Okay, just mix it in there so it all melts together. And now I'm going to add a little more of the starchy water. My pasta is done cooking and this is what you wanna do. You want to get the pasta straight from the pot and you wanna take it over here. The pasta water that is traveling to the other pot, it's going to thin out your pasta sauce. Now, the only thing that's left to do is mix. As you can see, it has such a beautiful, beautiful color. 
you see, to me, it's still a little too thick. So I am going to go ahead and add a little more of that water because it is a little too thick for my liking. Okay, so I'm just gonna finish mixing this up and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like at the end. Okay, this is a big pot, but let me bring it over here so you guys can see. I tried it for seasoning and I added a little more salt because I always tend to under salt things at the beginning and then I, you know, I finish it however I like it. Okay, and this is how I like to do it. I like to get some of that beautiful pasta right into my plate, just like that. And I like to decorate it with some more Parmigiano Reggiano, right on top, just like so. And I like to do a few sage leaves. I think it looks really pretty. And there you have it. Doesn't this look absolutely an incredible? I am so excited. I know I always say that I'm excited for everything in my videos, but I truly love food. What can I say? And I get really excited whenever I make delicious recipes. Okay, I'm gonna dig right in because why not? Hmm. This pasta is so creamy. You guys have no idea. You won't know until you make it, honestly. And it really reminds me of a fettuccine alfredo. I don't know why. I think it's like the both type of cheeses that we're using. It's truly the greatest fall pasta I've ever eaten in my life because it's that good. And you can taste that hint of coconut because of the coconut cream and it's just absolutely it's so good. This pasta is amazing like no other. This is the most comforting but healthiest fall pasta I've made in quite a while, I have to say. And if you do make it, make sure you tag me on Instagram, hashtag I need this delight recipe so I can see how yours came out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you for joining in. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.